can I get to this great R&B? Lost 45. Billboard's Hot 100, February the 11th, 1967. Let's go to it right now. I live and breathe these Hot 100s. This is it. This is the Bible right here. The rock and roll pop music Bible. Uh, to give some perspective, let me let me just uh, mention some of the big hits off this Hot 100 that you probably remember. Let's go into the top 40. Uh, we got Good Thing by Paul Revere and the Raiders at number 19. Give Me Some Lovin' by the by the Spencer Davis Group. Steve Winwood on lead vocals from 26 to number 17 that week. And from 23 to number 16, then you could tell me goodbye by the, by the casinos. And Mercy, Mercy, Mercy by Cannonball Adderley at number 21. The focal version done by the Bucky later on in the summer of 1967 of course <laughs> oh my goodness one of the most melancholy records the poetry on this record was incredibly incredibly rich the pretty ballerina by the left bank at number 25 up from 34 and how about this the whimsical hello hello by sop with camel at number 26 up from 31 the previous week but let's go all the way down all the way down to number 100 Billboard's Hot 100. Girls Are Out to Get You by The Fascinations. Written and produced by Curtis Mayfield off the Mayfield record label. And in England, it was released off of three record labels. It was Sue, Stateside, and Mojo. They started out, they were known as the Saberettes. They were going to call themselves the Saberettes in 1960. It was uh, Martha Reeves. That's right, the Martha Reeves, one of the original members of what would later become the Fascinations, along with another uh, woman, and two sisters joined the group, and then another woman joined up. Martha Reeves then had a disagreement with the rest of the band members, or some kind of disagreement, she left. And she joined her original band called the Dale Fies. It was the Dale Fies that signed with the Motown record label, and they became Martha and the Fandellas. So the Fascinations, they changed their name to the Fascinations uh, before, well, to, to Fascinations before Martha Reese left the group. So they were down to four girls. They signed, but boy, they got a break. They signed with ABC Paramount Records in 1962, and that's when they met Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield had a record for them called Mama Didn't Lie. Now, he written and produced this record. He wrote it and produced it for Jan Bradley. Jan Bradley had a version of that record out, but it was a regional hit. And that's when the bad luck, bad luck came in for the Fascinations. When the Fascinations released their version of Mama Didn't Lie, Jan Bradley's song started to break out nationally, and her version became the hit. Her version went to number, I forgot the chart position, it's like, no, it went to number 14. Whereas the Fascinations version of Mama Didn't Lie peaked at 108, bubbling under Billboard's Hot 100. <laughs> How about that? Well, they went on hiatus for a while, for several years. Uh, they, they played at some clubs, and they rehearsed, but they had to, well, they had to get some day jobs got to make ends meet one way or the other. Rent is always due. You know all about that. Got to pay the electric and water bill. All the basics. 1966, they, they teamed up with Curtis Mayfield. Once again, Curtis Mayfield had started a record label called Mayfield. And uh, he produced a single for them. It didn't do much of anything, but the second single... Girls Are Out to Get You went to number 13 on R&B, but on Billboard's Hot 100, my goodness, only got as high as number 92. How about that? It was on Billboard's Hot 100 for three weeks, and that's it. That is it. I believe I covered all the basics. It was re-released in England in 1971 off the Mojo record label. Went to number 32 in England became real popular among the Northern Soul movement over in Britain. The Fascinations. Man, Lost 45. Great R&B record. Not as smooth as the Motown records, but still. Got that raw, got that R&B, that soul. That energy. Fascinations. Girls Are Out to Get You, debuting at number 100 on Billboard's Hot 100, February the 11th, 1967.